What's up guys, it's on CPT here, and today I'm going to be doing a plugin tutorial on PlotMe. Uh, this plugin was requested by the Super Mario 70, I believe. Um, yep, he needs one on uh, PlotMe, so I will be doing one on PlotMe. Uh, this will not be using Multiverse, um, or the uh, Multiverse Core, which it's if you want multiple worlds. If he needs that, and I'll do another one on it, and I'll probably just do one on both. Uh, but for right now, I don't have a lot of time, um, so I'm going to do it on basically just, this will be your only world. So basically, you're going to want to go to download it right here. And then once it's downloaded, drag it into your plugins directory. Let me rename that really quick. Uh, okay, so let me go back to your overview. What the hell? Whoops, sorry guys. Uh, overview. Then you're going to want to go to... Let's find where it's at. Those are the commands. Let's go back. Uh, configuration, maybe. It's... I just have to find where it's... Because uh, you need a certain world generator for it. Uh, I think it's under installation. Yeah, right here. So go to installation and then copy this and go back to your server or folder or whatever. Let me make mine bigger. And uh, where it says bucket.yml, open that. And then it should come up with uh, stuff similar to this. Go all the way to the bottom, hit enter, then backspace. So it's uh, at the beginning of the line, whatever you have. And then control V or right click paste. And make sure it says worlds, plot world, generator, plot me. So then what you have to do is go into your server properties and uh, for the level name put plot me or plot world uh, sorry. So instead of world to be plot world and that will generate a uh, plot world for you. Now you can run your server. While it's loading I'm going to go to overview and go to I need permissions. Now, for people to do anything in this, you're going to need to add uh, have a permissions plugin. So I'll have a link in the description uh, for the group manager um, or a plugin similar to that. Uh, so basically, these are all the default permissions. Now, I'll go through all these in a minute. But, yep, I think that's done. You can close your server then. Go back to plugins, plot me, config. Okay, so now I'm going to go through this, which is pretty self-explanatory, but some people, I don't know, need help with it. Uh, but go to, okay, this is just saying the worlds it is. Then plot auto limit, so how many auto limit it is. Uh, how, mu how wide the path width should be, so basically, let's, let me go into it and show you. Come on, Minecraft. Okay. Whoa, I'm getting crazy computer lag right now. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so lock in. Uh, yes. Yes. Mm, I think it's this one, yeah. Uh, let me close off with this real quick. So this is how wide you want your path to be, and then how uh, big you want it to be. And then, so let's go into the server. Just make this bigger so I can minimize it. Okay, so you spawn right here, which of course you can set a different spawn. But uh, this is how, it's uh, seven blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you want seven blocks wide, you can customize it. And then, uh, one minute. Oh, I can't even kick him. Um, but basically, this is 32 blocks long. Uh, I don't know what this is. Um, so it's 32 blocks in the size, total size of it. You can customize it to whatever you'd like. Uh, so if you want to only give them say 20 by 20, you could just change it to 20 and it would regenerate another world. Uh, the bottom block ID, so I'd recommend leaving this the same, otherwise people will be able to fall down below and kill themselves. 
the wall block ID. So walls around it. Oh, what should that ID be? Walls around each individual plot. So that's 44, which I'm not sure what that is. Also, I will have a link to this. Um, I have a certain website I use. ID, ID list maybe. Yeah, you can basically type in ID. So 44. So the stone slab is the outline. So that's basically that would be the uh, right about right around the walkway. So we go back to it, and then the plot floor. So what the plot floor is. So basically the the top layer of the plot. Uh, that's two. That's grass. Um, and then what the filling block is, which I'd recommend leaving these the same. But this is three, and that is dirt. Uh, the road height. I'd recommend leaving like most of these the same. Otherwise, you'd have to test them out. But the road height 64, just how high it should be. Uh, and then days to expiration. I'm not sure what that does. I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure what that does. Let me look really quick. Road to expiration. Days to okay. This is the number of days at which plots expire. Set to zero to make plots never expire. Okay. So basically. If you want plots to expire, you can select that. I'll just put that to zero. Uh, protected blocks. So blocks that people can't destroy. So whatever 54 is, you'd have to go and figure out which ones you want. So chests, stuff like that. Um, let me open it back up. And then prevented items. So prevented items are items that obviously you don't want them to use. So let's see what 351 is. So all these ink sacks, you don't want them to use those. Um, you can put like diamond blocks or, or uh, never mind, not that stuff. Um, but these are items that the the player can't use. Uh, so the protected wall block ID is just forty four four. That's again up here. Go down to the for sale wall block ID. It's the same thing. Uh, auction wall block ID, same thing again. Auto link plots, just keep that to true. Disable explosion, if you want explosions to happen, I'd uh, recommend keeping that to true. So you disable explosions, and then disable uh, ignition, so they can't even light TNT. I'd keep that to true. Uh, now this is all if you have a economy plugin, uh, much like iEconomy or mm, Boss iEconomy, I believe. Well, there's one called that. Um, I'll leave the most used one, which is iEconomy, in the description. So you can, if you want, you can have that. Oh, but I'll just go through this. So if you want to use economy, just hit true. Um, if you want to put it on sale, put true. If you want to sell to a bank, put true. This is just letting this will let players sell them to a bank or put their plots for sale. Uh, it's kind of like a mini city. Uh, if you want to refund claim price on reset, it'll just basically the server resets. It'll get their money back. Didn't save it. And that's just basically technically the same thing. Claim price, so how much it is to claim a plot. Uh, you can customize that to whatever you want. Um, the clear price, uh, clear price. So you can clear a plot, how much that will be. Uh, add players, so if you want to add a player to your plot, uh, how much that would be. So say you want to give the, you want to make them it charge them fifty dollars to add a player to the plot, so they can build. Um, remove all players. I don't know. This really basically you can plot home. So how much you want to, how much it's gonna charge when they go home when they type slash plot home. Uh, you can customize sell price. So if you want to have them have custom sell prices, you can change that to true. Otherwise, it's the default, which I'm not sure what that is. Then protected price, basically all these other ones. Let me undo that. Um, then in, this is if you have a uh, MSQL or MYSQL, oh, which I don't. So I'm gonna hit Control S. Now let's go to the fun part. Uh, I don't even have a permissions plugin. So let me, I'll leave a link into this group manager. Let me download this really quick. I don't need this. I need, what the heck? Oh, never mind. It's in essentials. I cannot spell today. Sorry, guys. Set this to projects only. Essentials. Essential. 
I think I spelled that wrong. Okay, so let's find essentials now. Okay, essential. Okay, here we go. I'll put a link in the description for this, but Group Manager is what I use. I don't like uh, the other permission plugins, just due to the fact that they are a little. Group, or group Manager is more flexible. Um, the other ones tend to break a lot of stuff, in my opinion. So you can just copy that or drag it into your plugins directory. Then run your server. Now, for the sake of time, I'm just gonna not even really mess with this. Uh, just keep the default ranks, so this video doesn't end up going long as heck. So basically, you're gonna go in Group Manager, go in your worlds. If you need a more detailed tutorial on this, uh, I did do a tutorial on Group Manager, so I'll leave that in the description as well. Um, let's go to your world that you're on. Go to groups. Okay, so now this is your groups. So let's go to. Let's see if I can drag this. There we go. I don't want Minecraft. I want this. So let's go to plot me configuration or not. Uh, not that. Go to uh, plot me and then go to permissions, commands, and permissions. And you can customize all these uh, whatever you'd like them to have. Um, but basically basic permissions you can just give them the permissions that uh, basically you want like them to have so <laughs> gives the player all permissions listed below very basic commands player have without harming the server um, you don't want to give plot me admin to the default group or okay so basically all you're going to want to do is uh, each one of these has their own permissions so if you want to say say you don't want them to do slash plot me info just go down to here and I'll just do I'll show you I'll show you because I'm probably confusing you right now just copy that go in your default rank and put that there plot me use and then say you don't want you gave them the plot me plot me use permissions which gives them gives them basically all the commands in here but say you don't want them to do uh, I don't know, let's see. Plot me home player, whatever. So go to where it says plot me. Excluded from included. Plot. Yeah, okay. So these are the commands that are in plot me use, and these are the ones that are excluded. So say you want people to, uh, let me just copy each one of these. This is the plot limit, so how many plots do you want the user to have? So let's do five. They can have five plots. Then let's go here and then go to uh, plot me add so they can add people to their plot. And then space again and plot me remove. So let me save that. So that's basically giving them the plot me use command uh, permissions and then the number of plots you want them to have. So that's five. And if you want them to add or remove people from their plot. So I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, for now, because that's basically it. And let's go back to start the server. Now, if I join, I should be the default rank still. Okay, so the default rank. So if I type slash help, it'll give me a list of help. Uh, so slash plot me, I believe it is. You have plot me. Uh, you have four pages. So if you want to claim one, um, just do. You can stand inside the plot and do slash uh, plot me claim. And then, so this now is my plot. I can dig in it. I can destroy. Uh, do whatever I want. So let's do a what the heck? My awesome house. Now, if I try to go out here and destroy it. It'll say you cannot 